Well, it turns out some Antichrist Florida Jews are actually rallying in support of abortion and rallying against this uh, anti-abortion law in Florida. This is actually from June 17th, so you know about a week ago or so, but it says here, basically, and by the way, Judaism is obviously a false religion and stuff like this proves it. But it says here on Insider, a synagogue in Florida is suing the state over its abortion law, arguing that it violates religious freedom of Jewish people. Yeah, because Judaism allows abortion. So that's already the number one clue that Judaism is obviously a false demonic religion. That is from the Antichrist, it's the spirit of Antichrist, I'll put it that way. Because the Antichrist is not a biblical term, the spirit of Antichrist is the uh, scriptural term. But it says here on the article, uh, a Florida law is set to take place, set to take effect on July 1st, will ban most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. A synagogue in Palm Beach County is uh, suing the state, arguing it violates religious freedoms. In Jewish law, abortion is sometimes required, including to protect the mother, the lawsuit says. Now, they're not basing that off the Torah, because nowhere in the Torah, does, in the Holy Torah, does it say that. They're basing it off their, their Babylonian Talmud, which is a blasphemous piece of trash, essentially. You know? And people can get offended at that, but really, that's the reality of it all. So, and continuing on the article, it says, uh, A synagogue in Florida is suing the state over a new law that bans most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, arguing it infringes upon the religious freedom and violates the Jewish faith. The lawsuit was filed last week by Congregation El Dor Val Dor, I think it says it, of Baton Beach, uh, located in Palm Beach County. Under Jewish law, abortion is, quote, required if necessary to protect the health, mental, or physical well being of the woman, and for serious reasons that would not be allowed under the bill, according to the lawsuit. Florida previously allowed abortions up to 24 weeks into a pregnancy, but Governor Ron DeSantis signed a 15 week abortion ban into law in April and it's set to take effect, uh, take effect on July 1st. The bill does allow abortion to save the life of a pregnant person or prevent uh, injuries or prevent serious injury to them. Sorry. But again, nowhere in the Torah is abortion allowed. Okay, they're basing it off their, their Babylonian Talmud and other uh, uh, what do you call it, rabbinical Judaic traditions that have zero base in the Holy Torah or in the entire Old Testament at that. But it says here, quote, this act prohibits Jewish women from retaining their faith free of, for, for, sorry, for practicing their faith free of government intrusion and it violates their privacy rights and religious freedom, unquote. The lawsuit said, adding, quote, forced parenthood upon a woman against their will harms women, their families, our society, and the religious freedom of those who do not share the views reflected in the act, unquote. Well, again, no, they're not basing this off the Torah. They're basing this, again, off their uh, Babylonian pagan traditions that is known as Judaism. Because Judaism is just a repackaging of pagan Babylonian religion. Uh, a mixture of the Old Testament religion with pagan Babylonianism. But it says here in the article, the lawsuit is a second challenge to the Florida bill with Planned Parenthood and other reproductive care uh, providers filing a lawsuit against the state on June 1st. The bill is among the latest abortion bans to be enacted in red states uh, recently while Roe v. Wade enshrined the constitutional right to an abortion up to fetus uh, viability about 24 weeks. A draft Supreme Court opinion that leaked last month indicated the landmark ruling could soon be overturned. Many Jewish communities uh, reacted negatively to the news, expressing concern it could violate their religious freedoms. Insiders Katie Valbeck and Catherine, whatever, previously reported. Basically, these Antichrist devil worshiping Jews are just, just showing who their father is. The, you know, Judaism is obviously Moloch worship when you get down to it, because they're sacrificing their children to Moloch, just like they did back in the Old Testament. So, more proof you want to see that Judaism is a false religion. But Judaism is still a satanic, demonic, anti spirit of Antichrist false religion. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.